Uh, Tim Roberts, would you like to stand up now and come towards us? You would. Then you'd be there you go. Well, on a marginally lighter note, uh, the fall of the swine. Alas, poor pork, poor pig, poor swine, as we are want to call you now, with bug attached, and not just some old everyday sore throat, sweaty head, snotty nose, cough, cough, sneeze, sneeze, a chew, oh God, a chew, oh God, a chew, a chew, oh God, yes, 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 oh, you know when the sneezing gets you just right, kind of flu. We're all familiar with. No. Now they're naming them, and dear old Piggy Wiggy, you've copped it once again. As if it wasn't bad enough being named after the boys in blue. <laughs> all babes' hard work on the big screens brought undone as the friendly pig next door is now tagged to the latest plague. On public transport, in the airports, surgeons' masks become the latest craze. And well, down here, it seems we've copped the biggest whack. Somehow, I don't think that'll change until they bring those friggin' face masks out in black. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. That's our first swine flu-related poem. Just so we all know, check the playbook at home. That's our first swine flu-related poem. <laughs>